Alright guys, hey, how we doing? This is Scrotitis, and things may look a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. Um, this is actually vanilla Minecraft, and I'm actually playing on a multiplayer server, because 1.4.2 has come out, and I have been waiting for months to get my hands back onto this vanilla Minecraft. Now, I love Tekken, I love everything that we're doing over there, but I decided to go ahead and start up an SMP server with a couple of my friends, and uh, we're going to be recording uh, what we're, what we got going on. Now, this series is going to be, you see I'm the only one on right now, but this series is going to be a little bit more different than what uh, the other one is, where I sort of am learning and teaching as we go along. Um, this is Minecraft. Everybody who knows it plays it, loves it, and so I've actually already begun playing on this server just a few hours ago, actually. Didn't do much. My first goal was to find a village because of the new crops and the trading system actually introduced in 1.3. I haven't gotten a chance to mess around with it much, so uh, I wanted to find a village first things first, and... Where we started over there was spawn, and just probably 30 blocks away, I found this village. So I spent what was the better part of the first two nights building uh, this, or digging this trench too wide and putting this wall up. We're actually still, obviously, as you can see, working on getting the wall up. Right now it's just sand, but sand's enough to protect our villagers and our village, which you can see we've got tons and tons of villagers here running around all over the place naturally spawned um, we've got our wheat and look at this what have we got potatoes guys I couldn't be more excited we've got potatoes and let's see we've got more wheat here um, and here it is I knew we had some somewhere carrots super excited about that stuff uh, but also, this is a, a really decent sized village now. Uh, we did withstand one attack already, that's why a couple doors are missing. But for the most part, everybody survived. Uh, we've got a, our church here. Um, I don't know if there is actually a priest anywhere. But uh, and then our blacksmith, we've got some, some snazzy pants from the blacksmith. Thank you very much. Not much else here. Actually, you know what? We need to get a torch in here. It's kind of dark. But, uh, yeah, that's what we've been doing, is just spending most of our time trying to safeguard our villagers. Uh, we've had a couple creeper explosions. Here's a good one. These guys still uh, still like this building, even though the door and everything around it got blown clean off. But, uh, yeah, here's my house, or what I claim to be my house for the time being. Also withstanding a creeper attack, which uh, we're trying to get it built back together. But I think the first... Thing that I'm going to work on doing with this series is uh, I want to build this village up into a city and I want to make it sort of a collaborative build with all the guys on the server so I think that'll be kind of fun to share with you guys just the vision that, that not just myself but everybody else has but then also obviously I want to experiment with all the neat stuff that's been added to Minecraft uh, since the last time I played the vanilla version obviously I've been playing Tech It and uh that's still on 1.2.5 as of the time of this recording, which uh, I don't see that getting updated anytime soon, so that'll stay on hold for a while. But uh, So that's kind of what this series is and what it's going to be. Uh, I'm not going to, like I said, show everything. I'm going to work on our wall here a little bit tonight, and I want to start actually getting into building our first branch mine. So I might record a little bit of that, so I'm actually going to cut away for the night, and I'll see you guys back in the next morning. Alright guys, well it's almost morning, and uh, we didn't really do much productive other than solidify our wall being three high on the... Uh, outskirts with the the hole being being dug and um we also killed enough spiders that, that we have our first bow which is which is a step in the right direction um and we've also got a nice view of our you know what we could use a torch up here couldn't we 
got a nice view of the village from up here. And I want to build the entrance of our mine. Actually, maybe we should do it right outside of the walls. That's an idea. No, we'll be safe. And, but yeah, you know what? We are. This is going to be our, our housing. And, um, eh, no, we're going to stick to the original thoughts. <laughs> Sorry about being so wishy-washy, guys. It's going to go right there. So, first thing we're going to do is dig down with our shovel. And then we're going to build like a half wall. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right in the corner here. And then we'll build a tower structure over top of it and incorporate that into the wall. That sounds cool. Alright, so anyway guys, I'm going to get to work on this and we'll cut back when we have something more exciting to, uh, to talk about. Alright, so here's the concept here. We're going to be going down in, and there's going to be our pit that we're going to be able to jump down or climb the ladder down. Pretty pretty standard concept here, but I like it. We're going to then incorporate it into the wall and probably do a tower here on the side. I think that seems like a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid design. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, so alright, I'm going to get to this, and I will see you after a little while. Well, that didn't take long. Um, <laughs> I actually just cut away from you guys, and we already hit pay dirt. We've got a cave system right below us. So uh, I am going to put the ladders down and go do some exploring, collect some resources off camera. Uh, you guys have seen plenty of these types of videos, so I'm not going to put you through the boredom of that. But this looks like a pretty promising cave system. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get to work down here, and uh, I will cut back in once we get back to construction on our mine shaft. All right, guys, so I figured I'd cut back in since we got a good bit of progress done here. Um, this is what I got so far. I'm far from finished and far from liking it, but uh, it gives me the semi-structure that I want right now, so... Anyway, we built steps down on either side, and we've got our ladder, which is going to take us down into the depths. Now, first thing, I hate that new ladder sound, but here's a really cool thing. As I was digging down, here's the first tunnel that we came into, right? The first cave system. There's still some to explore there. So then I keep going down. I want to take this, too. I keep going down, and there's another one right here with tons and tons of caves to explore. All right, so then I keep going down, and I'm like, finally close to the level, to diamond level that I need, and there is a third entire cave system down here for me to explore and find diamonds in, as well as build a branch mine. So this is by far one of the coolest spawn points I've ever stumbled into. I couldn't be happier with the luck that I've had. So anyway, I wanted to show, look, we got gold, we got iron, we got squeaky bats. <laughs> Come here. Ah, anyway, squeaky bats and tons of stuff. So, 
Uh, they got lapis down there. We've got everything. This is just this is honestly the best uh, spawn that I've ever had. So let's just uh, build this down here because at the very bottom we're going to have a, a water drop. So we need to have sides. Um, that's actually what I wanted to work on. Dang it, I forgot. I got so excited with what we came across here that I forgot what we were going to do. Anyway, guys, that's the progress we've got on our branch mine. All right, so I'm fighting a skeleton, and he's got a freaking enchanted bow. Fire arrows. When the hell did that happen? <laughs> oh, there's a bat. Um, I need to get out of here. <laughs> Yo, hello. Holy cow. When the hell did they see enchanted bows? What is this nonsense? That's crazy. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um, I need to eat, guys. I need someplace safe to eat. I guess we're just gonna... I guess we'll duck in here. Holy cow. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I guess we need to put a ledge there. Might make things a little bit easier. Wow. That dude owned me. I got iron pants on, too. <laughs> I need to go kill him now, because I want that bow. Holy cow. Um, yeah, anyway, all right. So since I'm up here, guys, question for anybody who knows. Poisonous potato. What the heck does that do? I'm, I'm not going to test it right now, because I'm obviously almost out of hearts, but... Uh, I'm guessing it poisons. Can it be used in any sort of crafting? Any sort of poison potions or something, maybe? Uh, or is it just a hazard of farming potatoes? Just curious about that one. If anybody knows, go ahead and leave it in the comments because uh, I think it's definitely kind of cool. You know, you're just farming, digging up your, your crops, and oh, there's a poison potato. Anyway, let's go get this guy. And get us an enchanted bow. Whoa. 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 Yeah. All right. Which way was he? He was this way? Yeah. Where'd he go? Where you at? Where you at? If he died, I'm going to be pissed. Probably died. There we go. And nope, he didn't come this way either. Where did that guy go? Dang. Shouldn't have ran. I should have fought him like a man. Oh well. Alright guys, like I said before, I'm not going to bore you with another mining video. So I will see you up topside. Uh oh. I hear some noise and I found some cobble. You guys know what that means, don't you? I think. There's some more cobble. Sounds like zombies. Let's see what it looks like. Sounds like zombies. Ah, mossy cobble. Let's see how big it is. That sound is unmistakable, isn't it? Still haven't found any diamonds down here yet, though, guys. Alright, that's fairly big. Still haven't come across any, any of our zombies wearing any gear and armor. And no infected, uh, infected villagers yet, either. Which I'm kind of looking forward to seeing those. I think they spawn naturally. Uh, as would any other mob. I don't see any chest in there. Where's the good stuff?
Oh, there's one right there. Do you see him? I don't want to kill him. Shoot. Where is he? Which one is he? I knocked my torch out, too. <laughs> Dang it. I saw him in there. Okay. We'll just lead him out. Ah! Regular. Regular. There he is. And we killed him. But... I really should not have let them out. That was kind of a dumb move. My sword's gonna break. Ah! <laughs> oh, my sword broke. Do I have a sword? I thought I had an extra sword. Shoot. There's another one. Son of a gun. Tomahawk shot. And there's still more cave over here, huh? Wonder if I've been over there. I don't know. I got ripped off. There's no chest in here. Well, that's garbage. Oh well. We still got an XP grinder, I guess. Alright. Anyway. Infected villager number two. Coming to die. Sorry, buddy. I don't have any golden apples or potions. I haven't been to the nether, so I don't, definitely don't have any potions for you. And I got a whole bunch of your buddies upstairs that you would probably just love to tear their faces off. So, actually, speaking of his buddies, let's get up there and do that check out some of that villager trading because that's something that I haven't experienced yet. Alright guys, we're back topside. We made a couple more iron tools and we're getting ready to head back down into the, our mine there. We've got a new iron pick and we got plenty of stone picks. We're going to start building our actual uh, physical branch mine the way that we've designed it. But first, uh, oh, look at this guy's sneaking in. Oh, dummy. He jumped right outside. Oh, oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Hey, we got a bow. We had a bow. We got a worse bow than what we already had. Oh well, anyway. Um, they ran a decoy. Did you see that? that decoy over there distracted me, so the guy snuck up behind me, but he ran into the cactus like an idiot. Anyway, um, what I really want to try is I want to trade. I want to see what these guys have to offer me. And they are all hiding because it's nighttime, so it should be easy to corner them and make them trade with me what I want. <laughs> I wish it worked that way. All right, so we've got a bunch of guys in here. Let's go check this out. This seems to be... Oh, we missed this field of carrots earlier when we were harvesting. Oh, where did you come from? Obviously still have some holes here in our defenses. And it'll be something I'll have to work on. Right. Dang. Come in here? See in the well? I don't think you can spawn in a well. Kind of looks kind of dark, I guess. There's so many spots, these things. Now, obviously, th these torches aren't aren't a permanent uh, solution either. They're temporary. Um, I need to figure out a, a lighting strategy that I want to use over here, but you know, for the time being, it's just to keep the bad guys out, which. I obviously haven't been doing such a good job at. No wonder these guys are hiding in their in their houses. They're scared of all the bad guys. Any bad guys in here? See, now that might be something, too. These things may be spawning in the houses themselves. No? Anybody in here? Oh, we got guys in here. Anybody in here? No. Hey, guys. What? Oop. Are you guys talking about something I shouldn't know about? I'll come back. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, right. Over here. This is where we were going to... We are going to strong arm them into giving us all their emeralds. Uh, now, it kind of stinks. I, I watched a whole bunch of videos of people exploiting the uh, trading system. And I was hoping that I'd be able to do that. But um, 
1.4 was the fix to the uh, unlimited trading where, uh, you know, you find a deal you like and you corner a guy. As long as you don't leave that trade window, you could trade that same trade forever and ever. Holy cow! Look at all you guys. There's tons of you. Hold on one second. Say cheese. Hey, I said say cheese. Anyway, let's uh, let's talk to him. Well, you want emeralds. I don't have any. You want a lot of beef. That's uh, you want emeralds. I don't have any. Ooh, purple guy. You want emeralds? Um, hold on. You want gravel and an emerald? What? what you want emeralds? What do you want? Wheat. I can do that. I can do that. Let me just go steal some of your wheat, and we'll do that. <laughs> oh, there's a creeper on the roof. Son of a gun. Uh, I'm trading, creeper. All right, I'll get back to you. That's wheat, and he's got tons of wheat outside here, so let's just uh, let's give him a bunch of their own wheat and get emeralds for it. I've never had emeralds. I've never done a trading. Trading. That's why I'm so excited about it. There's more over here. Ah! No, no, no! Oh, you son of a... I guess I should have taken care of him. Dang it! He ruined my crops. Now I gotta fix that. Remember, we gotta put the. Oh, we gotta get torches on that roof. Make it up, guys. Torches on that roof. Alright. We've got 58. That should be enough, and we'll be back to fix these fields in a second. So, where was that guy at? Where's potatoes before they despawn? Now I gotta find him again. That's always fun. Um, you're a blacksmith, right? Yeah. It's you! Oh, perfect. Yes, I would like to trade with you, please. Kind sir. Thank you for three emeralds. And you can have that piece of wheat, too. Oh, now you're thinking. What would you like? Are you ready? Let's do this. Eleven arrows. I could use some arrows. Is that enough? You want to think about... Oh, you are. You're thinking about trading again. You like me. <laughs> All right. What do you got for me? You ready? Let's do this. No, you're not done yet. Are you still... Whoa, where'd you go? Hey, I thought we were doing things. We we're making things happen. Aw. All right. I'll buy a couple more arrows. Nah, you know what? Let's see what someone else has offered. Since you're being stubborn, let's see what this guy's got to offer. 12 arrows. Oh, he got you beat, doesn't he? 12 arrows. You're, you're, you've got some competition there, buddy. What did, you, what did you have? Come here. What did you have? Beef. I, I don't have any beef. You. How about you? You're the wheat guy. Or are you a different wheat guy? You must be You must be another wheat guy. For you? I don't want bread. I got all this wheat. I can make my own bread. Yeah. Um, you know what, let's, all right, let's see what the priest had, glowstone, shite, let's do it, let's do glowstone, just to see if he wants to trade, okay, he's thinking now, and what have you got for me, I don't know when they're done thinking, I think he's done. An axe and two emeralds will give you an efficiency two axe. Not bad. But oh. that Eric? Oh, he's mad. He tracked me down. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, good trade. Sucker. All right. So anyway, um, I think we're going to actually call it there, guys. This has been a pretty long episode now. I got some work to do on the crop so that mm, Reaper came and blew him up. So I gotta fix that up. Um, gotta replant this stuff, and I still gotta get some diamonds because we're getting up on our max um, 
levels here. If you see, I've got 24 levels already, and I need somewhere to spend them. So, I mean, obviously, since we don't have diamond armor, we'll be just doing iron armor and iron tools for the time being. But uh, I don't know if I showed you guys. When I first got here from the blacksmith, I actually found six pieces of obsidian. So I don't need to put three diamonds into a... Uh, I don't need three diamonds into a uh, diamond pickaxe to get obsidian to make an enchanting table because I've already got six pieces. Anyway, I'm rambling and I tend to do that and that is never a good thing. So what I am going to do, guys, like I said, is call this an episode. I hope you enjoy... Oh, excuse me. Oh, what, what? Why are you getting in my grill piece? I don't want your iron pick. I got my own iron pick. You're a pretty crappy blacksmith, actually. Thank you for the obsidian, though. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to call this an episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back for some more of the vanilla series here that I'm running. Um, I'm really excited about all this new stuff. All the changes that uh, Mojang and the team put in are great. I'm loving them. And running into this village first off just opens up a world of possibilities for us and things to do. Uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, like I said, caught me rambling again. This is Scrotitis. I'm signing out, and I'll check you guys later.